Welcome to Yoga Express, the mobile stretch clinic that takes yoga to the people. I'm delighted to present Josian Hurd, our participant for today. One more time, Josian has been with us in a lot of episodes previously, and she is back for more. Thank you for being here, Josian. I really appreciate My it. Between Josian and myself, we are going to help our viewers understand how to use props. On our program, on Yoga Express, uh, we do not normally encourage the use of props for the simple reason that we believe at Yoga Express, we believe, and both Josie and I don't like props. We try to do make do without it, but sometimes we do need them because we believe that props are like training wheels. They're only intended as uh, to get us started. We shouldn't use props as a crutch. So we're gonna demonstrate using of props with just the belt and the yoga brick for today. But there are other props that we can use and we'll talk us, ourselves through it and we will help you understand that as well. Uh, before I do that, I do have a little bit of housekeeping to do. We have a postcard and I don't have the card with me but it looks very much like one of the cards inside my box of 10 cards. The postcard has 48 ailment specific stretches which when we start memorizing, when we remember all these postures one after the other, you can actually complete these stretches in 20 minutes. So it's like a little, uh, it's like keeping a pulse on your health, keeping a pulse on good health, and that's important for all of us. Yoga Express is Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. My name is Banu Suresh. Josian Hurd is here with me today. Josian, why is it that you don't like using props? Um, because it's artificial. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by artificial? Because I like to do, I like to go all the way. Right. Yes, you feel like you need your, away. you yes. need to challenge your body oh, yes. without getting very uh, reliant on props. Utilizing something. Right, you know, so. right. So we want, Josian and I want to find the strength from the inside and want to make the most of our own bodies. In fact, sometimes I, I also uh, remember that I call my hands and limbs, I, know, I call them as props because sometimes we use our hands to move our legs one over the other. So Josian, what we're going to do is Maybe we won't do sun salutation just yet, but we will do some of the basic standing mm -hmm. stretches, mm -hmm. and we will show our viewers how to use a few of these props. So the standing stretches, let's say we use, let's go through the sequence. We're gonna stand up now, and we're gonna go through some of the basic, simple basic stretches, which might need the use of props. Now. I'm going to skip postures one through three. We're going to go directly into trikonasana. Uh, Josian, let's turn to the side. Which this way? Okay, then I'm going to keep my cheat sheet right here. <laughs> We're going to go into triangle posture, trikonasana. Three is three, cone is corner. And this time, because we may need the brick, I'm going to keep the brick very close to me. Josian, you might want to do the same because we're demonstrating to our viewers. Keep your feet. Keep your legs about three to four feet apart. Put your brakes on, bring your feet in. I'm gonna get them out a little bit. Once you've got both your feet parallel to each other, you might wanna turn the left foot out. Now, with the left foot out, we're actually gonna bring our arms up to shoulder height. So let's inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down, hold it right there. Look at the tip of your fingers of your left hand. So we're turning to look left. What Josiane and I are gonna do, oh, before I do that, I'm gonna move my brick to the left because that's the arm we are gonna bring down. We're gonna just lean forward. So just lean forward a little bit to your left. Bring your torso forward. Exhale, 
and bring your left arm down in front of your left foot. Right arm will go up all the way. Now, if your right left hand does not touch the mat or the floor, that's when you would start using the brake. So exhale and dip. Now, if my fingers do not make the connection with the floor, I'm going to use this brick first. I'm going to keep it at its lowest level. And I'm going to keep my palms flat. So if I can keep my palms nice and flat, I'm rested. If you feel that today is not the day when you can actually go down that far, uh, to, uh, far enough to keep your palms flat, bring it to the middle height. And this time, this is very comfortable for me. So this way, once I'm really nice and comfortable, I can open my chest out on the right side. So keep inhaling, exhale. Now, as we inhale, we will bring the right hand up, uh, the left hand will come up, right hand will go down. So both arms will be at shoulder height, palms facing down. Inhale, let's come up. Now put the brakes on in the left foot. Bring your right foot out. So the heel of the right foot is at a tangent, at a T, to the sole of the left foot. Arms are still at shoulder height, palms are facing down. And we at this time, we're looking away from the camera, but you know what we are doing. We're going to look at the tip of our fingers of the right on the right hand. And before I do that, I'm going to bring my brick on the other side. Let's dip forward just a little bit. Keep exhaling and dip your torso to the right. Bring your left arm up, right arm comes down. Both palms face forward. Now, if my hand did not make the connection all the way to the floor, as you can see, my palms are not flat, so I need a little help today. I'm going to use this foam brick, and I'm going to place it at the lowest orientation. So I'm going to place my palm nice and flat, and I can also sense that on this side, my hand seems to go down just a little deeper. But when your palms are nice and flat on the floor or on the brick, your chest on the left side opens up. So your shoulder goes back, chest is nice and open. You can take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Now, if you feel this is not enough for you today, you can move it to the middle orientation or you can also move it up all the way to the highest orientation. And this, this is actually a bit too high for me, but I just want to demonstrate to you that that's, that's also a good idea if you feel you're not ready and you don't, you should also feel a delicious stretch in your adductor muscles on the inside of your thighs. And of course, there will be a stretch on the outside, the obliques on your, the left side of your waist, the inside of your upper right thigh, and your quadriceps on the left side. And actually, Josian, do you also feel the stretch on your abductor muscles, the yes, outside of your left thigh? Side. You can feel it on the outside of the left thigh mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Now let's inhale, come up, bring the left arm to shoulder height, right arm goes up. Now we're going to keep our right foot the way it is. What we're going to do, bring our arms down, what we're going to do is we're going to exhale and bend the right leg at the knee. First, let's inhale, bring our arms up to shoulder height, exhale, and bend. When you bend your knees, you notice that you're a little closer to the floor. So if you're actually, if you're planning to touch the floor without the brick, we're going to try that first. And if that doesn't work, we're going to use the brick just to show you that one way or another you need to make the connection. So let's exhale and dip. Now this is too high for me because my knees are bent, my right knee is bent, so I'm going to put it down at the lowest orientation. And now once my palm, my right palm is nice and flat on the brick, I am feeling very comfortable. I'm comfortable enough to rotate, to move my left arm overhead. So this way I should feel a beautiful stretch also in my triceps, the back of my upper left arm. Inhale, come up. Bring both arms up to shoulder height, straighten your right knee. Let's exhale, bring our hands down. 
Put your brakes on in the right foot. Don't forget, when you do one side, when you stretch one side, you want to stretch the other. Put the brakes on on the right foot. Bring your left foot out. Thank you, Josie, and that was a good reminder. I'm going to bring my brick to the left as well. Now, maybe, maybe I'll need a little more help on this side. Maybe my right leg is a little more flexible. We'll see. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Exhale and bend your leg on the left knee. Bend your left knee. This is Veera Bhadra, brave warrior. Keep exhaling, dip your torso to the left. Bring your palms all the way down. Palms are facing forward. Bring your right arm all the way up. Now, this side, I was right. This side, I need a little more help. So I'm gonna move this brick to the middle height. Now I'm very comfortable. Now once I'm nice and firm, nice and secure, my palms are flat on the floor, my left palm is flat on the floor, I'm going to keep exhaling and take my arm all the way overhead. Palms will be facing down. So now I can feel a beautiful, beautiful stretch on my obliques on the right side. I feel a little bit of a stretch in the abductor muscles, the outside of the upper right thigh, but I also feel a wonderful stretch in my triceps when I go all the way out. Inhale, bring both arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, release the left knee, turn your left foot in, exhale, bring your palms down by the side. How are we doing for volume? Can you guys hear us in the studios? We're okay? All right. I don't hear myself too much. It feels like I'm talking without a mic. We hear you. Is the music too loud? No, we can't hear the music at all, actually. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's good. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> now we hear it. It's just good when we are actually holding the postures to have something to focus on. Mm -hmm. Not that I know what it means. I know a little bit, but not too much. Okay. This time, we're not going to be able to use the props for the back bend. So what we're going to do is, this time, let's turn the other way, Josie Ann. Is that okay, Danny and Kenny? We're going to turn the other way. And we're going to do a full forward fold, just to demonstrate how to use the brick. So we're going to bring the brick here. And actually, you can just face me. Let's do that together. We're not in each other's way. So bring your feet, legs out about three to four feet apart. Now, this remember. I, this I like to do without a prop. I like to remember. You like, all no. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I know you're very comfortable, but I would encourage you to just to I demonstrate to your position. <laughs> I know, you are, because you're very, very flexible doing the forward fold. <laughs> uh, for viewers at home or in your offices, wherever you are watching us, watching this show, make sure that if your legs are really far apart the way I'm keeping them, Make sure you put your brick, uh, brakes on. I said put your brakes on. <laughs> we have these bricks here. Put your brakes on. Bring your feet in. Bring your toes in so you don't slip on your mat. And I'm going to just stagger myself and turn just a little bit. Okay. Inhale. Bring your arms up to shoulder. I like this. So just the two of us, I think we can take a, a, you know, borrow from each other's energy facing each other. Arms are at shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Now, keep your back nice and straight and fold from the hip. What you see, and I'm gonna peep at Josiane. <laughs> you notice how Josiane has got her elbows bent, which means she has she is probably going to keep exhaling and she's going to be able to go all the way down without the use of the prop. But for the sake of our viewers, we're going to give you a chance to see how to use these props. So I'm going to place this brick close to me. First, I'm going to try and see if I can do it without the prop. We just want to challenge ourselves. Let me try that too. Yeah, in order to do that, we may have to bring our legs out further. So palms are flat on the mat, between the legs, keep exhaling. Okay, I can feel today, I can feel a little bit of a disconnect about two to three inches off the floor. So I'm going to use this foam block. Now, my hands, my palms are nice and firm on the block. And once my feet are nice and firm, nice and secure with my brakes on, I'm going to exhale and try to touch the crown of my head to the top of the brick at the lowest orientation. Now, 
I have finally made the connection today. And I know that I've made the connection because I can feel this wonderful, wonderful stretch on, your, on my adductor muscles, the inside of my thighs. And it runs all the way to the back of my legs. So I can feel it in, in the back of both my legs. How about you, Josie? And do you feel it? Yeah, I feel very comfortable. <laughs> you, you don't want to be too comfortable in your postures. You want to feel a bit of a challenge. Now, if you're way too comfortable, Viewers who are watching us today and stretching with us, remember, if this feels way too comfortable, challenge yourself, bring the brick closer to you. Now, if you're further away, it's, yes, that's it. Give yourself a challenge. You want to bring the closer. <laughs> if you bring, your, the closer you are, the more you'll have to fold over to make the connection. But it's good, Josie, and to know that you're comfortable because that's what yoga is all about. It's all it's about feeling good. Mm -hmm. You should feel nice and you know, comfortable, nice and good. happy doing what you're doing. Oh, yes. Now <laughs> press your palm firmly on the brick, wiggle your feet a little bit closer, especially we are gonna do that here because we want to show you how to use the brick at the next orientation, the middle height. Because once you bring your feet closer, your body goes up a little more. My back is nice and straight. Keep exhaling. Touch the crown of your head to the top of the brick at the middle height. If you're not feeling very strong today, you may want to try one more thing. And I'm going to have to bring my feet a little closer to do that. Try it at the highest orientation. Whatever you do, keep your elbows nice and close. Now I'm very comfortable. Now press with your palm on the brick. Wiggle your feet a little closer. When it's safe, take your hands off of the brick. Inhale, bring your arms out in front of you. Back is nice and straight. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Exhale and relax. Let's wiggle our feet a little closer. I want to point out a couple of things. For folks at home, I haven't got that with me today, but I also want to tell you there are different kinds of props in yoga. You have blocks, which help you make the connection. You also have, thank you, Jersey, and you also have belts, which will help you make the connection, especially in seated postures with your hands. You have to take your hands behind you. We're going to demonstrate some of those. The other thing that is actually a prop, really, are your yoga mats. We use it all the time. Now, you could practice yoga without the mats. And traditionally in India, I don't think people can really afford one of these rubber yoga mats. So they would just use what's called a dari. It's like a, it's a thick um, blanket. And it's not made with wool, it's made with cotton. But dari doesn't have the traction that a yoga mat has. So I want you to understand that you can use anything as a prop. In fact, sometimes when I travel, Josiane, you know what I do? I actually take, you know those kitchen liners that you have where you keep your spoons, oh, yeah. the rubber uh, mm -hmm. rolls? Mm -hmm. You get them at these hardware stores. I just buy a long strip of that, about six feet long. So, you know, I want enough room to be able to stretch. I roll it, put it in my bag, and it's very, very small. It's a small little package. So, in fact, it takes about half of this space, half of the space of the brick. So, yoga mat is a prop as well. Okay, let's see what else can be used our props that we cannot use them with all the balanced postures. What we can do... We can use the, the, the cow position with the yes, belt. Yes, actually, definitely. With the cow position, we can do the belt. Use the belt. Let's sit down first. The rabbit. Are you okay to fall forward with your knees bent? I'll try. I'm going to bend the knees right. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're going to do a forward fold. Yes. But also, I want you to be very careful. We're going to sit down. I want you to be very careful. I know you're still hurting from a tender knee. Now, this rabbit position is supposed to be a calming posture. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to stagger back just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's actually good. And it, it, that does require some balance. I'm going to place this block in front of me. Now, this is assuming that my forehead will not touch the floor today. I will, of course, make an honest attempt to touch the floor with my forehead first. And then I will show you how to use the block. So you're sitting on your heels. I like the volume of the music. That's beautiful. Thanks, Paula and Rosette. Inhale. Bring your arms up to shoulder height. Palms facing down. Keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead. Palms facing in. Exhale. Fold from the hip with a straight back. Now. 
now. I can sense it. Maybe you don't see it at home, but I can feel that my forehead, there is a little bit of a gap between my forehead and the floor. Now, if I want to make that connection, I have two choices. One is to lift my butt off the floor. But if I do that, then I'm not really helping myself because I don't feel much uh, tension in the back of my legs. I want to feel a little bit of that tension. Now this is a happy tension. You want to feel the stretch. You don't want to feel the kind of mental tension, but you want to feel the physical, the stretch of the muscles physically. So if my forehead does not touch the floor, I'm going to use the block. Keep exhaling and fold. Josie, I know you don't like using the block, but that's fine. You're way too comfortable. I know. I apologize for making you do that. This is just for notice. Okay. Notice. Yeah. No. Stay there. Notice how Josie, because she doesn't like using the blocks, but she's doing it just for our sake, just so our viewers can see how best they can make use of whatever they have around them. She, because she's already so far forward, she has to bend her elbow. So her whole elbow is on the floor because her body is already totally folded forward. So I'm going to try what Josie is doing. Okay, to make the connection with my elbow on the floor, I noticed something else that I have to do. I used the back or the front of my ankles and I pulled like a kind of attraction on the mat to make myself come forward a little more. But if I had to, if I could use the brick, I don't have to do that. So I'm going to just use the block and then keep my elbows down and now I'm fine. Inhale, let's come up. But I, the other thing too, Josine, you have to remember when your elbows are bent, I know you're very close to the floor, but when your elbows are bent, then you're not getting the benefit of the tricep stretch. No. So, <laughs> but yes, but you're getting a wonderful compression of the lower abdomen on the upper thigh. So we did use the block quite a few times. Now let's, let's show our viewers how to use the belt in different, actually we can use the belt in several ways. One of them, let's try the Ardha Matsendra. Let's see. Ardha is half Matsya's fish. Matsendra is lord of the fishes. It's half lord of the fishes. Left heel is tucked under the right buttock. Use the props that you already have. Move your right foot over the left knee. So you're trying to align, and this time, because it's not the cow face, you don't have to align your knees one over the other. The idea is to make sure your right foot is flat on the floor, on the mat. Torque your body, push your right knee in and torque your body a little bit to the right. Now I need to demonstrate, we need to demonstrate to you how to use the yoga belt. So I'm gonna keep it where I can, uh, where I can get at it. Torque your body to the right, inhale, raise the left arm, exhale, dip the left elbow over the right knee and push the right knee in. Try to hold your left leg at the knee, and then place your left hand behind. Now, you're still folks at home or at work who are stretching with us, you're probably wondering, so how am I going to use the belt in this posture? I'll tell you in a minute, in a moment actually. We're not going to hold it as long as a moment. Keep exhaling every sip of air that you exhale helps you twist a little deeper. Now, if you get a little ambitious one day and you want to do a wonderful, wonderful deeper twist, we're going to try and use this belt, take it from behind us, now, going to place it under the left foot. Let's say today you're not able to make the connection with your, le your left hand on your left knee. If you're not able to make that connection, but you still want to hold your posture, we're going to use this like a stirrup, you know, so place it under your, yes, under the left foot, good and hold it nice and firm with the left hand. And once your right hand is behind you, you've got a nice grip over here, even though you've not made a physical connection of your hand to another body part, you're actually holding on to the left foot. You can keep twisting, keep exhaling. Inhale, let's return, and let's switch sides. Let's twist to the other side. Place the right heel under the left buttock. Move my little, beautiful little plastic bottle out of the way. Use the props that you already have. Move your left foot over 
the right knee. Now push the left knee in and torque your body a little bit to the left. This time I'm gonna to have to move my belt to the left. I'm gonna place the belt under my right foot. And Josiana, you first on the way and then show me. Say, oh, first do it the regular way, okay. Yes, thank you for that reminder. <laughs> so that way we balance both the stretches as well. Push the left knee in with, your, with both hands and torque your body a little bit to the left. Keep your left hand where it is, inhale, raise the right arm, exhale, dip the right elbow over the left knee and try to hold on. To, we have two minutes, hold on to the right knee, place your left hand behind you and squeeze your body out, keep exhaling. We have a couple of minutes left. We'll probably be able to do a couple of postures. Inhale, release the arm. Now, let's not go too far out of this posture. We want to show you how to use the belt. Place the belt under, under your right foot. Hold on to it. Make sure your foot is nice and firm on the floor. And then place your left hand behind you and keep exhaling. This helps me go a little deeper because I have less, less um, of a distance to reach out for, yeah. right? So it does help. So props do help. It's just that if we get too dependent on them, then they are not gonna be very helpful. They're like training wheels. They're only as good as long as you really need them. Once you think you can do without it, break away. Inhale, let's release. Let's keep our left leg extended. We're gonna put, place the belt over the left foot. And first, let's, let's keep, so keep our back nice and straight. Right leg is bent at the knee. We're gonna st uh, sit up nice and upright. Inhale, exhale, and fold from the hip. Our left foot is nice and flexed. As we keep exhaling, we're gonna keep wiggling our hands closer and closer till we're able to get our hand right over the foot. But right now we're demonstrating how to use the belt. So if you're not able to go forward really deep, you can stay here, but keep your back nice and straight. Now, gonna extend the other leg out. Actually, no, yes, bring the right leg out, fold the left leg at the knee. We still have to do the cow face, Josian. Yes. <laughs> Maybe in the next step. <laughs> Exhale and fold. Now, before we get timed out, okay. We're done? Yeah. It's a wrap, okay. So let's just keep stretching anyway for the fun of it. Keep both our feet flexed and extended. Exhale, thank you, Paula, appreciate it. Thanks, Rosette, Danny, and Kenny, appreciate it. Inhale, come up. Are we still taping? That's nice. So even all the little jabbering that we do over here, it's wrap, it's wrap. I know, he did say it's a wrap, so I don't know if the tapes are on, but I just felt like stretching. I needed yes. to do both my legs. So we can continue because there are quite a few. No, actually, no. We can use it. You can use a car for the next one. You said we didn't do that. Yeah, we'll do the car face. So the, uh, we did not do the next one, the, both the legs extended so for the cameras. The we'll do one. that. But I want to see how many we need, or we can use the belt. How many more? We can use the belt for the boat. We can use the belt for the cobbler. Yeah. There are not too many, pro these are the most popular props, but people need to know that there are other props and I want to remind oh them, God. there is something right, called, uh, okay. it's like when you go to the steps, that's another, you keep your heel on the floor and the foot is up there, so your hamstrings. Oh, yeah.